hello in this video i'm going to show you how to take your survey monkey data and move it over to an excel spreadsheet this may seem like it's extremely a simplistic video however there's a couple pieces of advice that are very helpful for you i will show you that in a moment in survey monkey you want to click on analyze results go over to the save as drop down box hit export file and then more than likely you are going to want to export all individual responses you have a choice of a pdf an sps file a csv file or an xls file which i prefer to use excel to, to screen clean organize all my data so that's what we are going to select now here is something very important this drop down here it says actual answer text if you select that option you are going to get, if you have, for instance, uh, a Likert scale that says always, sometimes, never, and so on, it'll give you those words. Well, you don't want to be analyzing the words. You want to analyze the numeric data. Therefore, select that drop-down box, hit numerical value. Now you're ready to export. It'll export that data, and you will get a file that looks something like this. You want to then make sure that the data brought over, that you clearly understand it, that is the beginning of your data screening and cleaning process, which uh, I and others have uh, various videos on showing you how to do that. In other words, just one quick example for this item here, it says when I want something from someone, I will address it with them and there's a value of two. Well, we don't necessarily know what that two means. So what we do is we go back to the original survey that we created and then we can go here and see that the two, which there's no numerical value here, but I know, so that's why I'm, have, I'm making this video for you, that SurveyMonkey will, once you, once you move that data to Excel, it will assign a one, in this case, to this first column, then a two, three, four, and five. So in that example, the two meant not often. That, again, that, that is part of that data screening and cleaning process. That's the beginning of that. Once you've moved the data from SurveyMonkey to Excel, now we are going to start doing that. And again, I have some really great videos made to help you better understand how to screen and clean data once you've moved the information over to Excel or for others, maybe over to SPS or directly into Jamobi.